bit of an update here. Um, spring and summer, well especially early summer, always very busy around here. So I've been off doing a lot of other things. Um, but what I want to just cover in this little video is another application of the VLC V20 uh, timer voltage sensing unit uh, used as a charge controller. So let's zoom in. So here's the unit and uh, I've got a little drawer in here. If we can see it, there we go. Here's the unit and 12 volt DC in there and this would be full battery voltage, positive and negative. Uh, that could be 48 volts, 24 volts, whatever. Uh, it senses that voltage and there's a V1 and a V2 here and I've linked them both together because both timers need to be sensing from the same source. And we've got 12 volts DC come in there and then we take a tap in off the 12 volts DC to come along here and these two relays next door to it there and there there's a little LED that tells you when the uh, L, when the relay's functioning, and that positive is connected to the common of these relays, and we're using the normally open contacts because it's going to be fail safe. So if that drops out, then these relays drop out and there's no charge rather than if that drops out we're on normally closed and it continues to charge it ad infinitum so it's on fail safe and you'll see that a bit later on so that's that and if you notice here there's a relay so this relay here is operating that relay there and that's a power relay up to 70 amps so I'll just show you the circuit put this little box here hopefully there we go so what we've got is the positive output from the timer relay comes along here to the coil of that gray relay and then down to negative so when the power is coming through from the timer uh, this is on and therefore those are closed so therefore the power from these panels goes through to the battery voltage. If these are normal 24 volt panels then this is for a 48 volt system because we've got those two in series, those two in series and it's in parallel. Now there are two sensing relays on that VLC V20 so we have another one here and that's two panels. So as you imagine um, it's been grey for a while and then the sun comes out and it pours, pours loads of sun and so therefore these are all charging like mad and there is a point with lead acid batteries where you can have too much charge and therefore the voltage rises dramatically even though the batteries are not fully charged. So effectively what we're doing with this is we're switching some of the panels off and leaving some of them on. And then if the voltage rises a lot more, these ones will switch off. So let's just show you that in application. And just whilst we're here, in the book, there we go, there is a graph here with specific gravity of electrolyte and cell voltage. Uh, this is for lead acid batteries and there's also about um, hydrometers there so that's that now then we just need to connect this up I've got most of it done but let's just connect the negative and zoom in so we've got a bulb here I'm just going to move it off to the side so it doesn't uh, but we can see, go on you devil, you can see just here that that's on. That represents the fact that this relay, the contacts are closed. 
So it's effectively it's the same as the solar panels charging through this. And if you see here, both of those LEDs are on. Now we're going to put some voltage into this point here, the V1 and the V2. So let's turn the voltage up. What we're looking for is this one here to switch off. And I'm trying to read that upside down. There. So effectively, that set of panels is switched off, but this set of panels are still on. Yep. And then if the voltage, say for instance, there's a big demand on the inverter and the battery voltage goes down, it'll come back on again. And then the voltage goes up. And then let's say we haven't used any power off the inverter and the inverter is just running away. And let's say for instance it's using, let's guess, 25 watts to run itself. So uh, these, the two panels, um, are more than enough and the battery voltage is just creeping up gently and it's just go and then it goes off so therefore you've got nothing now and then the battery voltage goes slowly down because you've got a small load on it or somebody switches a light on in the house or the fridge comes on or something like that and then it comes back on ignore that little blip it's to do with this power supply yeah and then the freeze goes off, back on, that will just click like that, ignore it. And there we go, and then you know, big load or the, um, uh, the sun goes in or something like that behind a big black cloud and they all come on again. So what I wanted to do here was just go through how I've set this up. Let's just hold this here. That's the set button. That's the enter button. Now first thing I'm going to do is press the enter button from that side. Okay, and that will come out of number five program. There. And my fingers are just stuck to that glue. That's number five program. Okay. Then we'll scroll through the program six one now in program one it's the timers and what I've done here timer one I've set at nothing okay so it's doing nothing timer two is already off okay So let's get out of one and we'll just press this. There we go. Now we need to move down to program five and we'll go into program five. Okay, this is A. Okay, let's set it. So that shows at the moment 17. So on a 48 volt system perhaps you might want this to uh, switch off the four panels at 57 volts. Okay, so imagine that one's a, a five. Okay, so we'll go through that. And this is low volts. So at the moment, imagine that's a five. We'll want it switched back on at 54 volts, something like that. So let's move over here and go one, two, three, four. Move along, we'll get rid of that 0.5. Okay. This is the calibration, okay? Which just sort of moves the switching around the mean. Yeah, and then the next one is A is one. Okay, now if you change uh, the one to 
note to two, it, up, it means that the timers work. And then if you send it to note, okay, it'll mean that the relays are off. So we want them to be on in the normal state. So we'll change that in a moment. Let's go back through. This is the second relay. There's the A. That's high. High is imaginary 57. Imaginary 54. Calibration will leave it it is. And that wants to be a 1. See, that's come back on. Yep. So normal state, it's on to allow the power through. You drop the volts out of here and everything switches off. So it's fail safe. I'm just repeating myself there. Okay. Now, the second relay, high, we've got it at, if that's 5, 56. Well, we want it a bit higher than that. So let's go to... 58.5 and I'm doing um, this imaginary 58 business because the power supply doesn't go above about 20 volts so that's the high now we're on the low okay so it's 50 and 3 yeah that'll do we can have all sorts of overlaps but maybe not Let's go to four or even five. Calibration, ignore that. And B is on one, which is what we want because we want the relay on. Okay. Now then, let's turn the volts up. There you go. Off, on, so that's this, hopefully I've made that reasonably comprehensive and understandable as how to set this up to a voltage operated two stage charge controller and it's adjustable and you can also see when it's operating you can also see what the battery volts are which is very handy